You don't want that blue skirt? No. How about no. a bike helmet? A scavenger is someone who searches for and collects discarded items. <laughs> Carrie Worth, a 30-year-old who grew up in Jamestown, North Dakota, scavenges to give. You want to give him that one? You know they're my two favorites. Collecting items started in high school. And I always wanted a bunch of socks. Socks were awesome all of a sudden. I didn't know that before. I <laughs> figured it out. I wanted a bunch of them. But her giving began when she was very young. For that, my mom always said that she never wanted to give me things, so just give them away. I don't know when she figured that out about me, but probably way before I did. Thrift store shopping and dumpster diving are common for Carrie. While living in Portland, she began taking things for free. She's so into them right now, but I had to keep one. But in Portland, they'd have free piles. Just like people would just leave free stuff in, like, in boxes all the time. I just pick things up, and if I didn't need them, and I still thought they had worth, I'd still pick them up. And I'd find different places for them. Carrie began to create things with her newfound items. I would make things for people and people who didn't really know me just because I had the time and there was something that they inspired in me and like then I'd give it to them and they'd be like, oh my gosh, thank you, but why are you making me things? See? Look how cozy that is. It'd be a great pillow. Scavenging may come naturally to Carrie, but the fate of each item comes down to one question. Who wants it more? Um, Kelsey was really good. She was shocked when I had it. She was just looking through my jewelry. And she's like, oh my gosh, I love this little, it's like a fish that actually moved. And it was a necklace. And I'm like, you, you can have it. And she was just shocked. She couldn't believe I just gave it to her. Because I had no real emotional attachment to it, so I figured she was the proper owner. Since she loved it, and I did not. One thing is for sure, Carrie will never pass up something for free. That was a free pack of cigarettes I found. There's nothing wrong with them. They're perfectly fine. Reporting for Making It Better, Minnesota State University Moorhead, Megan Havig.